we dig 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 from early morn till night. We dig 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 up everything in sight. We dig up diamonds by the score, a thousand rubies, sometimes more. We don't know what we're digging for. We dig 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 dig. Dun 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 dun. dun. And now, our story. Ba ha 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 ha. We're off the train. I suppose we gotta find that G.I. Joe fella to help him dig that treasure. Chuck, we don't need that G.I. Joe fella. Forget about that orphanage. We'll get the treasure for ourselves. Ooh, well, which way to Morchester? Now, Cepito, there was a treasure found here once before. That was only part of the treasure, Chuck. The real treasure's here. We don't care about that G.I. Joe. <laughs> and we don't care about that orphan. Or that supposed witch, Mega D. Let's dig. Hey, what's that? What's that there? Then a big explosion erupted uh, from the ground. Uh, and uh, Dini was resurrected. After knocking out those two crazy gold diggers, Sapito and Chuck went to seek help from her mentor and her guide, the Wicked Witch. Oh, Wicked Witch, I know that I'm not a witch, just a sorceress, but I don't know what to do. You see, I knocked out those crazy gold diggers, Sapito, Stapito, and Bob, and now I need help because I don't know what to do with them. It's easy what you should do. Make them your zombie slaves. Make them do all your evil work. You mean that I wouldn't have to do any work? Just them? That's right. <laughs> So Joe arrived in town, and he went to the only woman that could help him to find the treasure to save the orphanage, Letty McDougal, the granddaughter of hey, Uncle hello. Lester. Who are you? Why are you here? I'm G.I. Joe, and I need help to find the, the treasure. Oh, not more of this gold digging nonsense. My grandpa Lester spent his whole life trying to gold dig, and he ended up dead. Well, there's for, for the orphanage. <laughs> Like that guy over there. Oh, okay, let me get my hat. And so Letty was on the mission to help find the treasure. These men I have, these two jokers, and well, they promised to help me find the treasure. But you see, I just don't know where to dig. Well, there's only one place, one place in this whole crazy town that you can find the answer to your question. We have to go to the ladies of the lake. Letty, I'm glad I found you. And there was the lake. Soon they would find. And the first, the ladies of the lake just laughed at the request. <laughs> then they asked again. Psst, Katie, we need your help. That's a thing, Lily. And they burst into song. The ladies of the lake would not sing. And then it struck G.I. Joe and Letty that they might have found their answer. It must, it must be in the wishing well. And off they ran. And even the orphans were thinking there must be hope on this day. The wishing well. Hmm, the wishing well. Meanwhile, what was Meg Dini doing? So Medini was inspired by the witch, and it would be a bonfire tonight. Hmm. So that evening by the firelight, Medini put a special curse on Cepito and Chuck. Ura! Suwata! Suwata! Ha 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 ha! Look what I found. Hmm. The 
This special treasure is by the shack, but make sure that you watch your back. I wonder why it says that. Well, we better do. Guess so. And so off they went out to the shack to find the treasure. So after the big bonfire, Meg Dini had the boys just where she wanted them. In her powers, in her trance. Now the two are my slaves. I want you to help me do my dirty work. I want you to take G.I. Joe and throw him in the lake and get the treasure and bring it to me. Take the treasure and leave it there and bring G.I. Joe to you. No! No! You're supposed to take the treasure to me and leave G.I. Joe there in the lake, okay? All right, we leave the treasure in the lake and bring G.I. Joe to you. No! Just just take G.I. Joe and throw him in the lake and give me the treasure, okay? Okay, Megadini. Throw G.I. Joe in the lake. <laughs> <laughs> Letty and G.I. Joe went to figure out what the note from the wishing well meant. They're thinking and thinking and thinking until G.I. Joe finally asked Letty what she thought it meant. What do you think it means, Letty? Well, after, after thinking and thinking, I finally come up with the conclusion that some evil work is being done. That some evil work is being done, and I don't think it's by the right person either. So Letty quickly went into a very complicated formula using the same arithmetic and calculations that her grandpa Lester would use in the same situation. She had referred carefully back to his old manuals, and she knew that by doing formulas and equations, she could figure out what the problem might be. So Peter went shop? Well, we have to make a humdinger. It, it, um, stops all evil, evil work and all witchcraft. You mean sorcerer craft, don't you? Exactly. You work on the thing. You stay in here and work on, on the thing while I be live bait out there. Okay? Let's shake them. So the two heroes had come up with their plan. So the zombies came with Robert to find the treasure, but Robert, G.I. Joe, is not very happy. Come on, you guys, you like zombies today. Yes, Omega, I'm in G.I. Joe. It's the treasure. We must put G.I. Joe in lake. G.I. Joe in lake. Hey, what are you doing? And G.I. Joe knew they were working for Megadini. I see you guys work for Megadini. G.I. Joe must go the in plan, light. The plan! The plan! You think you boys can outsmart G.I. Joe and Lenny McDougal? Think again. Oh. So the humdinger dazed the zombies. And with that, the zombies kicked the bucket. But what happened to the treasure? Megadini was off with the treasure. Then Megadini saw the orphans, and she saw the error in her ways. I must give the treasure back. I must give it back to the town, or else that orphanage will have to come down. What have I done? What have I done? And some people say that Megadini's heart grew three sizes that day, and she realized that she would give the treasure back, and they will build the new orphanage. And they did just that. And so they did build the new orphanage, and it was a beautiful sight. And Megadini herself cut the opening tape. And the crowd cheered. Yay! And the orphans went into their new house. She's not so bad after all. And everybody realized from that day on that Megadini would be part of the fabric of the community. The end.